hello 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 and let's start a new a gpt4 default a pop in the index html confirm reading the code and do not generate anything else sometimes it ignores it yeah it read through the html that's good javascript next confirm reading don't generate anything else um so there are obviously place placeholders and things that we need to sort out that's a uh, flask application python code let's pop that in uh, this should be it yeah should have said do not explain this no already already have it it's okay it's all good relax relax <laughs> keeps going uh flask dump ah actually we don't have the requirements file do we how can it became much faster it was generating slower the uh, text the uh, last time so actually we do have the requirements file and why is it different numpy sidepy where is the code that does the image processing okay can you do this for us here's an example of how you could implement these ajax calls using fetch in javascript which is a modern alternative to xml http request for making http requests that's better than before let's pop this error in quickly and then the name attribute of the input field for the image should match the key you're trying to access on the server side. So well, this will fix the current issue. The resulting processed image is saved in the static processed underscore images directory with a specific naming convention that includes the detector type and the original image name. Yeah, but uh, it seemed to be only happening once. The process underscore image function receives the post request data containing the image and detector keys. Why don't you do it then for me, please? Okay, if this is correct, why do you mention it? Stuffed something up. The error you mentioned earlier indicates that the server expects the image data to be in the form data, but it is actually in JSON format. I'm not sure which one I should be using. A generate all the necessary code for the updated JavaScript. Let's see if it there. Uh, sometimes it ignores me and uh, starts uh, generating a code with a lot of placeholders and missing missing code. This one looks legit so far. Yeah, we have about 125. Yeah, this stuff. Uh, can you regenerate? Yeah, it's, that's uh, re ignoring me. Yes, yeah, sometimes just uh, writing a um, app. Why? Kind of works still generating why well, it's not letting me submit yeah i need the whole whole thing doesn't let me change the prompt okay i will definitely hit the 50 Prompt per three hour limit soon. Don't give me placeholders. Okay, now it's thinking for a. Right. This seems like the whole thing. Well, just jinxed it. Oh, look. All this missing must be putting me into some sort of second tier, you know, after using it for a while. It becomes uh, super slow. I think this error, yeah, it meant to be <laughs> an easy fix. <laughs> Okay, let's try once more and start a new uh, chat. Uh, GPT-4 default. Confirm reading the code and do not generate anything else. 
sometimes it decides to ignore it, like now. <laughs> but There's also a script tag at the bottom that asynchronously loads Google AdSense advertising scripts after a 10 second delay. That's right. So smart. But I ask you not to generate anything. Uh, I said, could be reading the code and do not generate anything else. Sometimes it actually doesn't. And other times it ignores that last uh, line, which is a bit odd. But at least I know it uh, read it. Right, so it is working. Harris fast she to mercy. Okay, it's actually working. Uh, best rule of engineering. If it's not broken, don't fix it. 